Hey there, welcome to my channel and in today's video I am going to talk about how I customize my Galaxy Z Flip 5. So let's get started. First talking about the lock screen. So here when the screen is completely off and I tape it once, it shows always on display with things that I have selected to be shown. Instead if I double tap while the screen is off it shows the actual lock screen. To customize always on display, you go to settings, lock screen, always on display and these are the options that you can select from. From other options you go back into the settings, you go into the advanced feature, then you go into the motions and gestures and here you have those other options which include lift to wake, double tap to turn on the screen or turn off the screen. Now talking about launcher, I am using Nova launcher which is a paid application. In this I am using few gestures so when I swipe down on the home screen it will launch CSAM search which is equivalent to spotlight search on iOS. Further if I tap once and swipe down on the home screen it will open the notification bar. And finally I double tap to lock the screen. Now talking about the good lock. Good lock is an application made by Samsung. It does have couple of applications from which I have installed few of them. The first one which is useful to me is one hand operation. Here I have turned off system navigation gestures and instead using gestures provided by this app. The first is back swipe and the second one is the purpose of reachability which matches visually to that of iOS. The second application is multi-star which I am specifically using for cover screen launcher widget so that I can select the application which I want to enable and use it on the cover screen. Another application is register which allows me to hide items in settings which I hardly use. Also, we have two useful gestures. One of them is back tap action that includes double tap or triple tap which triggers specified shortcuts. Apart from it, we have an option of holding the power button to run another shortcut and here I'm using for flashlight. Now comparing it to the default option, you go to settings into advanced features and there we have option of side button. Here it gives double press option. So now including this, we have two options, one single tap and the other is double tap for power button. That was all for good lock app. Now here you can see it's showing me to update but there is no notification as such. Why so? Because I am using Burskill which is a paid application to hide various notification. It has multiple options to customize according to the user's requirement and here I am using it to dismiss the system notification. Now talking about changing media volume. To change the volumes, we use physical buttons on the Android device. While on iOS we have screen options in addition to it, but it depends on different Android skins. But then I went one step ahead and would just swipe at the specific area of the screen to increase or decrease volume using free application called Easy Slider. There are various options into it for customization. Some Android smartphones might have similar functionality but I am not aware about it. Now talking about file transfers, basically airdrop. Now being an Apple ecosystem user, I have frequent media transfers for which I am using this web application Pairdrop that gives similar functionality but only thing it needs is to be on the same network and then it recognizes the other devices for transfer. Now in developer settings, I have changed some animation speeds of the system. Now coming to Tasker which is a paid application, I am using it for some automation. So here in this profile. I have some applications which when I open enable screen rotation so I can view media or read PDF in landscape mode and when I exit the application the screen rotation gets locked. So here when I open my PDF reader the screen rotation turns on and on exit it turns off. Now for sound mode the mode changes to general mode or silent mode based on the time with an exception of specific contacts which are allowed to bypass the silent mode which is actually available on iOS by default called emergency bypass. For that I have created a group in Google contacts and selected it as a target group for it to work. Now with this BT profile when the phone is ringing and the specific BT device gets connected to the phone the call is auto answered and the call is ended if BT device disconnects. Here when I am turning on the BT device, the profile gets activated and gets deactivated on disconnection. Further, I have some GPS based profile where GPS activates at specific time so when I am leaving or arriving home or my workplace, it takes the specific number. Now for using Tasker on a non rooted device which I am on, there are some functions which needs ADB commands on every reboot. So to automate it, there are some threads on Reddit. I am putting links in the show notes that bypasses the need of manual ADB commands. Few other applications which I am using, one of them is AOD Notify. 
Here I have tweaked it to display specific colors when notifications from specific app are received when the screen is off. This is a free application which gives more customization options on its purchase. Another application from the same developer enables dynamic island functionality which is again free to use with some limitations and it's useful when we are listening to music and we can control directly from the dynamic island instead of going to the notification bar. So these were the customizations which I have done in my Galaxy Z Flip 5 which I wanted to share with you guys hoping would be useful to a few of you. Do share our customizations in comment section below. I am putting links to specific applications which I am using in the show notes below. Thank you, signing off.